Hi everyone, I'm Brittany and I am the teen librarian here at Kokomo Howard County Public Library. Today I am going to be working on the uh, haikus made out of magazine cutouts. Haiku is a po poetic form that originated from Japan. Um, in English, it consists of three lines. Uh, the first line is five syllables, the second line is seven syllables, and the third line is, again, five syllables. Um, originally, haiku was restricted in its subject matter to having to do with the seasons, um, usually one specific season, and it would evoke an emotional response. So each kit will contain two pieces of cardstock, a glue stick, and a magazine. And from the magazine, you can cut out your words. Um, if you can't find full words, you can always just cut up letters to make whatever words you like. Um, you can also cut out any pictures that you feel would go well with the haikus that you're making. So as you can see, I already have all of my words and letters cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started on it. Starting with the start. And like I said, in English, haikus typically consist of five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables again. And a syllable is basically just how many beats a word has. Um, so for example, my name is Brittany. So if you do my name, Brittany, it's three syllables. Um, in some forms of Brittany, it could just be two syllables. So Brittany. Um, really depends on how you spell it, how you say it, things of that nature. So for the first line, you want to have about five beats in there. And so my first line is going to be the start, pink and blue. So I think for this one, we're going with spring because I am very glad that it's finally coming in. Now for these, you want to make it very clear that, um, like which line you're on. So while I have this kind of staggered and it's kind of stylized, you can still tell it's all on one line. And so that is our first line. We're going to go ahead and work on our second. We're going to give ourselves just enough space to make it clear that this is its own line and it's not part of the top. thing about glue sticks is that they are very forgiving. And like I said, if you can't find a full word that you want, you can just cut up the letters and make up your own word. Put right there. Um, you'll see when I get to the word sky, that's what I ended up having to do because I couldn't just find the word sky in my magazine. So I did choose to make the letters look like they came from the same thing. Um, that's just a style choice. I'll put the end right here. And then part one of my sky. I 
think I'm going to put my last line a little further down. We're going to do this side. Because I like the way the other one looks a little bit more. Bloom right down here. And something you'll notice with haikus is that they don't flow like a regular poem. Um, at least not usually. I think simply because you stick to that 575 five pattern um, makes it more subjective um, to what you mean. which I think just makes them more fun. Because you can make them really deep or you can make them really weird. It's really whatever you feel like doing. To move. All right. And then if, so this is finished. Um, if I wanted to, I could find pictures in my magazine, paste them around. Um, find what kind of goes along with what I created but I think I'm just gonna leave it blank as is I kind of like the way that looks so this is my finished poem so I'm going to read through it and do the syllables the start pink and blue so that's five on perfect petal and sky, that's seven. Bloom, budding to move. That's another five. It's really simple, really easy, and the end result kind of looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the magazine haiku. These will be going live April 1st to celebrate a National Poetry Month. They will be available at all KHCPL locations and bookmobiles while supplies last. Um, I hope you enjoy this little project and happy poetry month. Bye.